Hello Aquarius, uh, this is Soul Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be your general uh, weekly reading for the week of January 18th through the 24th, 2016. Okay, Aquarius, let's get right into your reading. Um, the overall energy that I sense for you for the upcoming week ahead, uh, you have the two of uh, pentacles in the upright position. So for some of you, and this is just a general reading, so it will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. Uh, some of you are going to try to balance things out. Um, you have to apply with, you know, the message to whatever is significant to you uh, currently happening in your um you know, in your life at this time. Uh, but I feel that the week is all about trying to either seek balance or restore balance. Also to this, uh, two of pinnacle shows up, uh, involving two people. So there could be some sort of, um, you know, trying to balance out a relationship or someone that you're dating. Uh, and this might also, uh, in terms of the relationship aspect that I see, uh, just, you know, coming down to something in terms of uh, scheduling. Um, and also, too, I feel that some of you may receive some sort of small increase in pay uh, through a pay raise or a possible uh, delayed bonus. Uh, it, I just see something going on involving the work situation. And um, the other message is the emphasis on uh, being mindful, even though I see that there could be some uh, small increases in pay uh, for some of you. Uh, some of you are also going to be um, mindful of your spending. OK, so be very careful or at least, um, you know, balancing your checkbooks. OK, I got that message. So I just want to pass that on to you. But I don't feel it's, you know, a bad week all all together or overall because it's just the restoration of trying to either seek balance or maintain balance through any area affecting you at this time that may be out of balance recent past yesterday going back to uh, two weeks because we're you know this is a mini read uh, we have the nine of swords in the uh, upright position so some of you may have endured a possible betrayal being lied to or deceived by someone uh, I feel that this nine of swords showing up, uh, I'll, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, related to a relationship. But it, since this is a general reading, I have to throw in all of that. It could have could have involved a relationship, friendship, family member, co-worker, what have you. Someone um, lied to you or deceived you and possibly uh, betrayed you. Also, there was, you know, with this nine of swords showing up, there was a lot of whatever that was. It was it brought on a lot of conflicting uh, energy surrounding you and then stress associated with that. And then also, too, some of you may not have been sleeping pretty well based on whatever it was that occurred with you or to you from someone else. There was just an emphasis of being betrayed lied to and deceived by someone uh some of you may be dealing with earth sign energies capricorn virgo taurus male or female and then i'm also getting uh, uh air sign energies like yourself aquarius gemini libra male or female yes a lot of conflicting stuff within the recent past two weeks brought on by someone else possible betrayal and deception moving into the middle of the week we have the two of swords now so some of you may be going into the uh, week feeling like you're at a crossroads and, uh, you know, having to make a decision about something and being indecisive. I just feel that um, whatever is going to be presented to you. Uh, and like I said before, you have to apply it back to the messages in terms of uh, what is significant to you and occurring with you at this particular time. If it's a relationship, so forth, friendship, work. There is energy here for some of you uh, having to be at or feeling like you're at a crossroads of indecision. You know, uh, I just feel that in moving forward, you won't be there long. You will move forward uh, because the very last card that I have for you, Aquarius, is the full card, which is in the upright position, which is excellent to have. Uh, so that's taking that leap of faith. Uh, and being secure well not being secure is one but then taking that leap of faith into possible unknown territories okay uh, so this is a major arcana major life event so whatever 
you might be dealing with or presented to you during midweek in terms of having to be at a crossroad or feeling like you're at a crossroads and uh, being indecisive, you will move forward and make a de- uh, making a decision. And you're taking a leap of faith with this full card showing up at the tail end. So that's a very positive card and an energy uh, for the Aquariuses that I'm sensing might have to deal with making a decision about something that they're at a crossroads uh, with. So this is your reading for the uh, upcoming week. It's not really a bad reading. Uh, this will be the last weekly reading that I do for you um, for the month of January as I prepare for February's love general readings. Okay, so the Oracle of E card that I have selected for you, Aquarius, uh, we have the F word. Okay, so I will read the uh, messages <laughs> associated with that F word. I hope it's not too bad. Okay, as soon as I get the page. All right, so the F word says <laughs> the message attached to the F word. Nobody likes the F word, but the dude sees forgiveness through a different pair of glasses. He knows that everything is going to turn out fine in the end and that holding on to negativity and old wounds is just postponing the inevitable. Your success is a done deal. Your bliss is going to happen. The F word is the place to start. Let it go. Forgive, forget and follow the yellow brick road. Okay, I like that. And ironically follow the yellow brick road uh takes me back here to the fool card and taking that leap of faith into unknown territory so this is the card that i have selected for you to complement your reading aquarius this is a very damn good card with a powerful message the f word forget forgive and follow through all right so this is what i have for you i want to wish you all a very uh safe upcoming week ahead Until the next time, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.